guys, my name is Shirali and thank you if you're here. This is my first Inst uh, YouTube video and I have been creating content on Instagram for over a year now but I just didn't feel like it was the platform where I could explain what I was doing. So definitely check out my Instagram, it's my creative outlet. So let's begin. I have created this summer fresh youthful makeup that is long lasting and looks good in real life okay so i've started with just clipping my hair back so that it doesn't disturb me and i'm gonna start off with the claire's vitamin c serum now if you don't know the benefits of vitamin c amazing for almost all skin types actually this one the claire's vitamin c isn't too oily and now if you're wondering why i'm looking here is because my mirror is here so with vitamin C, I use it in my morning routine. What it does is that it helps with your acne scarring. It helps with the uh, onset of your wrinkles and uh, mm, fine lines. Also, it works amazing under your makeup, especially your daytime makeup. So I always start off with vitamin C. After that, I follow up with my favorite sunscreen. This is the Neutrogena um, Sunblock SPF 50. And I take a, about this much and apply it generously all over. Now, make sure you're never ever skipping your sunscreen and because this is a daytime look, you obviously cannot skip your sunscreen and don't worry about the white cast, it's better to look white temporarily than to actually face the damage of the sun on your skin, right? So yeah, I have coated my skin well with it. Now, if your skin is particularly dry, you can use a moisturizer before using a sunscreen but I'm an oily skin type and uh, this works pretty well for me okay next I use the benefit professional now a primer in your daytime makeup is definitely a must according to me I take about <laughs> that much and this literally instantly blurs out your pores okay now i apply it on my t-zone where i i do get i'm an overall oily skin type but we do get oilier over here right? okay different primers have uh, are used for different things uh, i want for this particular makeup for my pores to look pores to look smoother and for my makeup to last longer so this professional is perfect for that i always take some time and make sure that it's sitting well on my skin now our skin prep is done now what you want to remember with this type of makeup is that your skincare is more and your makeup is much lesser okay moving on now this might seem like it's it doesn't work but trust me i've been doing it for years and it does and it works very very well so take some of your tint i have a bunch of tints here i'm using the dear darling tint and you need to be fast with this okay take a good enough amount and don't worry about looking like a clown trust the process and i'm just going to take some from here and i place it on my cheek now i am going to place it uh, starting from here and I'm gonna go backwards now it's okay don't worry about looking too clownish that's how you're supposed to look for a flushed look which is what I'm going for now yeah I, that's what I do I also take some on my nose because I like that like burnt sort of not burnt but a flushed look now even with choosing your tints um, you want to 
keep in mind that you're choosing if you want your makeup to look uh, natural you want to keep in mind that you're choosing a tint uh, like a color that your skin actually becomes when you sweat when you uh, do something like uh, when you do a vigorous activity uh, like i get very rosy when i run or do anything so this works perfectly for me berry cherry tones suit me very well now next is to cover all the problem areas now you don't need to um touch up on areas that don't need anything so make sure that you're not caking up your products right you're using very very even layers so i am using the ellie girl pure beige uh, concealer this works very well for me it cancels out my dark circles now i have intense dark circles right so i'm going to take some i'm going to take a good enough amount now don't worry i know i might be looking a bit scary on the screen but this will come together trust me I'm going to take some more I'm, I'm going to cover this area also spare me if i sound very low um it's just that it's my first video i'm not used to talking to a camera so yeah i'm going to use a wet sponge this is the pack sponge and you want to wherever your concealer is just blend it right there make sure you're not stretching it too much make sure that it is covering just your dark circles blend the edges of course i'm going to also now you can also use a concealer on your um if you want to skip foundation i do plan on using some foundation because i recently broke out and i have some scarring here so i'm going to use a very light layer of foundation but if you don't want to do that you can just cover up whatever needs covering up with your concealer with very light with a very light hand you don't want to press too much then your product's going to disappear and it's going to look patchy and also i used some over here because i have very slight discoloration around my mouth as well which is normal now we are done with our concealer i've put some concealer around my eyes and some around my mouth next i'm going to use a foundation this is the maybelline superstay um 24 hour full coverage foundation i personally think this is amazing now I feel even if you are someone like I don't wear uh, a very heavy uh foundation or heavy makeup on in my daily life but I feel it's still better to go with a full coverage foundation because you can always dial it down with your moisturizer you can just literally use a tiny drop like this with your moisturizer and make a BB cream out of it it's better to use a full coverage foundation better to have a full coverage foundation in your collection now what i've done is i've taken literally that much you do not want to cake up your products as i mentioned and i'm going to place it on my problem areas as i mentioned earlier i broke out recently so i have some scarring here so i'm going to place literally some over here some over here very very light very little on my forehead because i do have a little bit of like scarring here as well because i recently did my eyebrows with a thread and maybe like tiniest amount here and all the remaining i'm going to put on my neck and i'm going to begin blending now what i've done is that i have not placed the foundation directly on my cheeks i've placed it where i have my breakouts and i'm going to blend it in place again i'm not going to blend it all over and also it's okay for some of your scars to show you do not want to go with a very heavy layer because this is summer makeup it is going to sweat off and it is going to look bad so now that i've blended it like that i'm going to blend the edge now and with whatever little is remaining on my sponge 
I'm gonna go over that tint that we had applied earlier and soften it basically now mind you I wouldn't be using foundation if I didn't have these scars okay so definitely keep it very light if you do not need foundation don't use foundation use um, a good serum or sunscreen and some concealer tint and you're honestly good so yeah take your time with blending blending is definitely key you do not want any harsh edges anywhere you do not want to see where the lines start and where the lines end so that's the aim with this look fresh look now you can build up your foundation if you think you require a little bit more coverage i think i do i can see some i mean i as i said it's okay for them to show but just a little bit more i want to cover it the tiniest amount over here and again softly blending it upwards i'm also going to take some over here because that's also where i broke out so you see what i've done is that i have basically tried to get one single basically cover the areas that need covering that's it that's all you remember now i like to go a bit lighter under my eye now what i like to do is that i will take a concealer that is a little bit lighter than my skin tone and i'm gonna place it just over here and a very thin layer of course as i said thin layers and just going to place a little bit over here a little bit on the tip of my nose a little bit on my cupid's bow and a little bit on my chin what this does is that this brings light to the center of your face that's what we're trying to achieve here we're trying to get more light in the center portion of our face that was maybelline age rewind in the shade medium and i'm just going to blend it now make sure that the concealer isn't too light also like it has to be definitely just a shade or too lighter than your skin tone otherwise it's going to look too uneven and again this is a natural makeup look right it's ironic actually how much makeup you have to do to achieve the um, natural makeup look okay now make sure that you're getting rid of all your creases again and next comes powder now powder is super important if you're trying to achieve any makeup look in my opinion also in my opinion i feel loose powders do a much better job because i haven't seen my makeup move too much when i use a uh, loose powder now this is the makeup revolution banana light powder and i'm going to take a powder brush this is broken but it works very well so i took some out on the cap and i'm going to take some now the thing with your summer summer makeup is that you want to use a powder that is very thin i really love the maybelline fit me loose powder but that is a bit thick it's and it also has some coverage to it this is just a light powder that will fix literally fix your makeup in place so that's what i'm doing i'm just going to first go under my eye and i'm going to tap the powder i hope from audible it would be such a fail if i've not been audible all this while taking a little bit more okay and i'm going to I'm tapping in a triangle form if you're seeing over here I'm going like this and then you can of course smooth it up smooth it out later but like that and with whatever is remaining don't take any extra just go over your entire face lightly very lightly 
Now, what I do next are my brows. This is the Etude House Drawing Eyebrow Drawing Eyebrow and it has a spoolie on one end and the pencil on the other is why I really like it and also the product is really nice and I'm gonna use the other end I'm just gonna go very light handed in the front here draw some strokes and fill in the gaps here you do not want to achieve an Instagram brow okay you're just gonna make it very soft basically just make it look fuller just like that on the same on this side filling in the sparse pieces and definitely remember to always again spoolie your brows comb your brows once you have your product in it softens it up even more also if you're wondering what's the difference between doing your brows before your makeup and after your makeup if you do your brows before your makeup like the focus is on your brows right you do your brows and then you outline them with a concealer or a foundation and it just it shows very very well now with this look i want it all to be blended in yeah we're good what i'm going to do next is take my blush now this isn't really necessary but i love flush okay now if you're wondering why i added the tint earlier when i had to add a blush later on anyway it's just that it looks very you look flushed from within when you do that and also i have used my tint on top of my foundation and seen and this just works better this looks more natural in real life my I, my goal here is to actually make the makeup look as flawless as it can in real life now makeup is makeup it is going to look like makeup but if we can make it look natural it's a good thing right so now again i've taken some now this is wet and wilds mellow wine iconic blush and i love this color it is corally mauve and i'm gonna okay um, what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna place it here right here just intensify the color a bit more now this is summer makeup so you can definitely load on your blush i love blush and tints it's my favorite makeup product so i don't mind it and also blush fades really fast from our skin so it's okay if you go a bit overboard always brush blush some blush on your nose and a tiny bit on your chin your sponge again and regardless of going overboard or not always soften the edges of all the placements of all your products that is that was the color i was trying to achieve you can go for any tone you want you can use a berry blush you can use a mauve blush a coral blush orange blush any blush that you like now next eyes I'm gonna take the same blush and I'm gonna take a fluffy brush. Any fluffy brush will do. You don't have to um, go looking for a particular type of brush. I'm just gonna take some and I'm gonna tap off because you do not want it to be accumulated in one area. It makes blending harder and the edges don't look soft. So I'm just gonna like place it on my crease and sort of try to and just blend it more into my crease like that the same thing over here and I'm gonna take the tiniest bit and with the same brush just very lightly go under my eye as well nothing too intense but just to tie the look together there we have it that is the 
literally all you want if you want a natural makeup look then eyelash curler now this is important okay if you're going for a natural look definitely you want to get the most of your mascara and using a mascara over curled lashes works like magic try it if you haven't so for my mascara i'm gonna use the Too face better than sex mascara and this is really nice it makes your eyelashes look very fluffy and i'm gonna start coating my lashes now what i'm gonna do for my lashes is that the parts over here i'm gonna i'm gonna put the mascara inwards like this for my middle part i'm gonna put straight ahead like this and towards my outer uh, lashes i'm gonna put put it outwards basically fanning out my mascara and coat i hope you can see the difference now also what happens is that every time i'm doing my mascara i get some over there on my uh, lash line so definitely don't do anything about it right now let the mascara dry off and we'll brush it off later now i'm just gonna do this eye off camera and i have my mascara on and whatever little mascara i have on my lash lash line i'm gonna clear that up in a bit once it dries off for lips now i had a little bit of tint on from the beginning of the video i'm just gonna add a little bit more and i'm gonna concentrate it in the center of my lip like this I'm gonna ombre it outwards. And I don't do uh, mascara on my lower lash line, by the way, just in case you're wondering, because I don't think it looks that natural. I feel like the top layer just by itself looks pretty, pretty. Next, I'm gonna use a lip liner. This is the Nykaa Lips Don't Lie in Pillow Talk. I really like this color. It's, it's a curly color. And I'm just going to outline my lips. Now definitely don't just leave your outline there. It doesn't look natural. Again, just blend it. Or... If you think that your tint is a little loud for your liking, you can take a little bit of the same lip color and, and that's it. I do not like to use highlighter in the afternoons. It just makes, it makes you look really shiny and unnatural and glittery. So I just leave it at that and I'm just going to clean up that mascara now. I'm just going to clean that mascara out. Now, if you stuck through the video, thank you very much. And I really hope you liked the video. If you did, definitely subscribe. I'm going to leave all the products in the description box below. And um, follow me on Instagram if you don't already. Bye.